someone might very reasonably ask, why are these uh, stories included uh, in the, the great books of Western culture, in the canon of, uh, of old Western civilization, as C.S. Lewis puts it? It's fairly easy to demonstrate that the, that the Iliad and the Odyssey, and especially the Iliad, um, have been uh, among the greatest uh, influences on the Western imagination. Tradition identified his birthplace as possibly Smyrna, uh, which is uh, not far from Ephesus on the west coast of Asia Minor. Achilles is so overcome and so overmastered by his anger and his pride uh, that there's a, a tr tremendously tragic consequences. So the Iliad is a tragedy. It's the story of a great man's failure. And we also talked about the fact that the Odyssey uh, is a polythematic story. <clears throat> that is, it has parallel tracks running at the same time that are brought together uh, into one thread two-thirds of the way through the, through the book. And then the story plunges into the middle of things, in Medius race, just as the Iliad did. And we have a scene on Mount Olympus uh, where the gods consider among themselves uh, how they can bring together uh, Odysseus and his son. Achilles says to Priam, uh, let's stop weeping. Uh, it's uh, satisfying for the moment, but ultimately it does no good. Um, this is simply what the gods have put upon us. But Odysseus says, I want to tell you something, Cyclops. It's not nobody who put out your eye. It is me, Odysseus, son of Laertes. My home is in Ithaca. I'm famed for my cleverness throughout the world. He identifies him, gives him his phone number and email addresses and, and everything. And then, because he's identified himself, the, the, the Cyclops, um, whose name is Polyphemus, the Cyclops curses him. For, several for a couple thousand years, uh, Western culture uh, always understood that a knowledge of Homer uh, was, uh, was essential, was required in order to call yourself truly educated.